You know what, weird white block guy? I don't know where you come from, but I know that I pure straight hate you. But God damn it, I respect you. Now get that weak boy stuff out of here. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not drunk. I swear. I swear. <clears throat> I swear. I'm not. I swear. You, on the other hand, I think it's pretty obvious. But I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. This one's for all the marbles, Carl. Don't screw this one up, man. Ready? Fight. And fight. All right. Come at me, bro. You know. Oh. What am I gonna do, man? Okay, new 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 competition, new break. Okay, we're break dancing now. Better break dancer wins. Oh, already won. Yeah, scissor kick. Get the yeah yeah. I win. I win. You can go home and complain to your blocky wife and family. I bet they're not even geometrically symmetrical, fatty. Can you help me out though? Show some compassion for a fellow block, man. I need help. I've fallen and I can't get up. I'm not... Don't just stand there, I'm breaking the stage. <laughs> I give up. I give up. I'm leaving. I'm leaving now. I'm leaving. I'm gonna roll away. Goodbye, Carl. Goodbye. Goodbye. Up. Oh! No! Hello guys, my name is Russian Badger, and the first thing that I'd like to tell you is that I have no idea what's going on with Battlefield 3. I really don't. There's something about, when you log into Battle Log, there's this like baby blue message at the top that says something like, You can't play Battlefield because DDoS, Mothra, Power Rangers, and DICE is also throwing a, a spontaneous pizza party because they got the Star Wars franchise. I don't know if that's even true or exactly what's going on, but... The final summation is that we can't play Battlefield. And it sounds like one of my promises when I used to... <laughs> their quick fix, it always sounds like one of my promises that I used to make at grocery stores. Yeah, I'll get right on that for you. Yeah, how can I help you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on top of it, boss. Totally. That's the tone that I'm getting from DICE. However, this bridge tactic, all right? You get the first guy. The second guy also adds to the basically pile of bait Jamal's gonna jump out of the boat come over to revive somebody with an electrical device in water and I stuck my loving 44 oh second time I said Willie Lee my name is not Jack Brown look man that's five kills in the span of like what 20 seconds and all it takes is two guys to sort of add to a pile of bait or meat if you will Jamal to why would you ever want to combine electricity with water that's not usually good for the person that is applying the electricity and that's unless okay i guess there's very specific studies that are done or some kind of if it's in a really really controlled scientific environment i guess i would be okay with electricity and water but jamal running around with defibrillators around water sounds really dangerous and the final two guys just decided to go for a swim which doesn't exactly agree with the bullets of my 44 magnum so that's the that's the bridge tactic, if you will. And to finish another story or another thing that I would like you guys to do. Okay, this is what happened recently. So Sarah has a new video. You have to go over to Sarah's video and you have to tell her that she's silly. She's a silly goose, all right? And this is why. She insulted my cleanliness recently, which is no bueno. Those of you that know me know that it's no bueno. And good morning, Carl. Good morning. You know that it's no bueno in so many different languages, and this is exactly just, this is just what a flank looks like. If you flank correctly, this weapon is not even suppressed. I don't know how people even caught on to me eventually, but it seemed like if you're firing bullets and you're behind enemy lines and you show up on the radar that often, I think, you would think somebody would turn around and be like, oh, there's a catfish running around in our spawn with a KH-2002. Maybe we should probably try to kill that guy, but I guess it just took them longer than they... They thought to actually eliminate me. So just because you're not using a suppressor and you're running around doesn't mean that you will necessarily cut your flank or your streak short. I believe I end up going on something like 16 kills, but beyond the point. Okay, and this just gets worse and worse and worse. Like the guys tried to get me with smalls and then pistols and then they tried to revive. Like look at this right here. Look at Team Carl over here. Okay, you're going to revive him. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get the bait that was placed. And even there's one other guy that thinks... He's so cool, despite the fact that I only have half a magazine left. Nice. The trickster with the RPG, and that guy just added to it. Game over, man. Game over. That has... Maglevar is totally right. And that has got to be one of my favorite movie lines ever. And 
Now I have so many stories just rolling around in my head, because now I want to discuss what I saw in Super Troopers today, but to finish my cleanliness story. Alright, you have to go over to Sarah's latest video, and you need to tell her that she's silly, because she insulted my, my cleanliness, which is bad in so many different ways, in so many different languages, in so many different countries. That is straight no bueno, alright? That's his kind of guti day, if I can say it that way. Because this is what she had the beef with. She got very angered, and she was pretty much just posterior pulverized. She was pretty pooper pained that I didn't have soap in my bathroom sink, right? And I got stuck here, and I have no idea why. I eventually make it out because I use my noggin instead of just crawling around like a worm. But this is what Sarah did. She freaked out, and she got really mad at me because I don't have soap in my bathroom sink, right? Because my bathroom consists of exfoliating gel scrub, a texturized apricot body scrub, a water activated gel cleanser, and a deep pore cleanser lotion, right? Those are all in my shower. But in my bathroom, I don't have hand soap. And here's why. She freaked out, but here's why. Let's say you just randomly wash your hands in your sink with hand soap, right? In your bathroom. But before you leave, you can have so many different other sources of bacteria that you could get on your hands. Like, maybe you touch your mouse, maybe you touch your your door handle, maybe you touch, I don't know, any kind of surface in your kitchen. Those are all potential sources of bacteria that could get on your hands. But my strategy is I strategically place hand sanitizer on a, I want to say, yeah, strategically placed table in my living room. So as soon as I'm about to walk out the door, I cleanse my hands and I make them perfectly clean with hand sanitizer. So whatever happens, as soon as I'm walking out the door, my hands are perfectly clean. Unlike the person that used hand soap in the bathroom. So you need to go over to Sarah's video and be like, 2012 plus one still using hand soap in your bathroom? Or something like... I like to think of it as the hand sanitizer mustard race because hand soap needs to catch up, but it's... Whatever you would like to say, but she needs to know that hand soap is the way of the past, man. Like, are you also running Windows 95 on like a white monitor, man? Just, hand soap master race is not ever going to come back, alright? It is now hand sanitizer master race, and I can easily say that, just as a final summation to that point. But also, what I did today was, and this guy, man, this support guy, I thought to myself, I totally screwed up that engagement, but that guy has a hundred service stars with the MP7. That is balling out of control, all right? I can tell by the look, just like the scratches on his sunglasses, that guy goes hard in the paint and I don't even know his last name. That... Of all the support players that you want to run across, you don't want to run across that guy. Especially when he has a hundred MP7 service hours. That's, if I'm not mistaken, that is 10,000 kills. What? That's so crazy, man. That's so silly. That's 10,000. That's, but if I'm not mistaken, it's capped. So each weapon is capped at a hundred service stars, if I'm not mistaken. So he has not only 10,000, but probably more than 10,000. Like he has 10,000 plus kills with that one MP7. That's somebody that you don't want to run across. Not only because his hip fire is deadly, but just in general, that weapon in close quarters just shreds people in half. But today I also watched Super Troopers and I can't get the scene out of my head. Other than the, you guys remember the game over man, game over from Alien. You guys remember that. But I think the other movie scene that really sticks in my head is the... Do you guys remember the fast food scene with Farva in <laughs> Super Troopers? A double bake a cheeseburger, it's for a cop. Oh god. And then he goes on a liter of cola. Liter of cola, do we make liter of cola? <sighs> and then I think my favorite part is... Do you want to dip size your meal for 25 cents? Do you want me to punch size your face for free? And it just goes on to a large Farva. And that guy is actually somebody that I know plays Battlefield. I know there's a guy, he was on like the top 10 plays of Hazard Cinema for something in Battlefield. And his name is Lard Farva. And I, every time that I think of his name, just, I don't want a Lard Farva. I want a goddamn leader of cola. And that's what I want. So this has sort of been an unorganized video, at least if you ask me. And this was just a kill streak that I had, what, 16 kills and then an additional four. Despite the fact that we lost because there's a lot of 100 tryhards in the other team. This map was not exactly geared towards rush for us, but uh, th I can't play Battlefield 3 right now, so I can't record anything, so this is all that I can give you. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching. 
I I really do appreciate all the positive feedback that you guys have given me in terms of the montages that I've been making. I I find them quite comical. I know they're not popular with all of you, but I really, really do enjoy making them. So I want to thank you for all your support so far. I will see you guys next time. Auf Wiedersehen und bis bald und later. I chose hard mode because I'm not a filthy casual and I used to play Big Mother Truckers back in the day on PS2. I'm only transporting bricks, so I can probably just gun this first hill. Ah, that's actually not going to work. Let's break on the first hill then. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that truck brick thing. The second one's not so bad either. Brick squad! That's not going to work out either. That was awful. Let's ride the brakes all the way down like an old lady and hope that the brake inspector guy, whatever his name is, Travis, got it right. I'm going to ruin my Pirelli ties, though. I'm on 26 inches of chrome, though. Okay, okay. We are okay. Oh, man. Whoever designed these tires and these brake pads, Nobel Peace Prize for saving all these bricks' lives. So I go hard in the paint. All right. Breaker 1-9, is anyone there? Come on back and talk to Teddy Bear. 32 seconds, new record. For me, at least. I may not be as fast as Truck Pancake over here, but I'm certainly moderately proud of myself. Moderately. <laughs>